So 4C router is the cheapest one that you can buy on the market. It doesn't have the 5G Wi-Fi network, it only provides 2.4 GHz, which means you can't really have a high-speed Wi-Fi. That is the reason why it's so cheap. But the good point is that it is supported by OpenWRT, which makes it a good option for you if you are starting to learn open source software. In this video, I'll try to install OpenWRT on this router. Let's see how it goes. This router has 64MB memory and 16MB flash storage, which reminds me of the MIUI Nano. The two routers have almost the same specifications. I do suspect the 4C router is just a Nano router, but in a larger shape. To install OpenWRT, we need to log into the router's command line interface, because we need to run the mtd command to install OpenWRT. By default, they don't allow people to log into the command line interface, but there's always a workaround. For the 4C router, we can just use this OpenWRT Invasion script to gain the access. The script is written in Python programming language. Please make sure you have Python installed before proceeding. I'll just download the script to my laptop, and let's take a look what's inside. Some many files in the directory, later we just run this remote command execution script. This Python script basically just run a post request and send the shell script to the router. Then the router will execute the shell script to download Jobbear from the internet and start the SSH service. So we need to make sure the router is connected to the internet, otherwise it won't work. But I don't want to connect my router to the internet, because the manufacturer will collect my network information which is super annoying. So I need to use my laptop as the web server and uh, modify the shell script, let the router download Jobbear from my laptop directly. You can skip this step if you are not interested. I have some knowledge of shell script, that is why I can do the modification. Anyway, I'll update the links in the shell script with the IP address of my laptop to make the router download Jobbear from my laptop rather than from the internet. and start the Python simple HTTP server on my laptop to share the Jobbear file. The Jobbear binary file is in the script to directory. I'll just start HTTP server from that directory so that all the files in that directory will be shared over the network. Now let's start the Python script. It asks for the IP address of the router. I'm using the default IP address 192.168.31.1, so I just press Enter to confirm. It also asks you for a token. The token is something like a temporary password. It provides permission to make the change. The token will show up after you log in the router's web console. You can find the token in the address bar. Just this string. Copy it and give it to the script. It will grant the permissions to download Jobbear and start SSH service. Ok, now the job is done. The 22 SSH port is open. We can log in the command line interface. Default password is just root. As we mentioned earlier, we use this mtd command to install OpenWRT. But before that, we need to transfer the OpenWT image to the router. Again, I'll do that with the Python simple HTTP server and put it in the TMT directory.
The simple HTTP server is really a useful function. But you can also transfer the image with FTP if you are not familiar with this Python module. The partition layout is very similar to my Wi-Fi router nano, which is simple and clear. We can simply write the OpenWT image to the OS1 partition. That is much simpler than other Mi Wi-Fi routers. And I think the job is done. We don't need to configure the NV run. We just reboot. If we succeed, OpenWT operating system will boot up. Just be patient now, as there's nothing else we can do. Minutes has gone by, finally we get an IP address from the router, which means the OpenWT operating system is up and running now. Let's give it a try. And we can successfully log in. I installed OpenWT on the router mostly because the stock firmware collects my personal information. You should definitely try OpenWT if you care about privacy as well. You know those big companies are doing everything they can to get your data. It's very dangerous to use that stock firmware. You can only trust the open source software. Alright, that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.